better than you. I can bend you like a pretzel, I can tear you in two. I like to taunt you and scare you and make you feel lame. Cause in this business, that's the name of the game. I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. The ropes won't save you when I start my attack. If you try to escape, I'll just pull you back. I'll spin you like a top and when you've had enough, I'll turn up the heat and really start to get rough. Cause I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. 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 Hello and welcome to Wrestle Birmingham. I'm your host, Larry Lloyd. Well, tonight's show hits a home run on the action scale. And to show you what I mean, right off the bat, we're going to show you the ladies' match from Fright Fight at the Zamora Shrine Temple. And by the way, any of you guys that want to get to first base with either one of these gals, better train hard. Let's take a look. Wrestling, when you think about it, going back to the days of the fabulous Moolah, Cora Combs, Joyce Grable. Uh, oh, Joyce Grable, some of the most outstanding uh, professional Wendy wrestlers Richards. have come down the pike. And, uh, and, and right now, I guess we're looking at the new generation of women stars in professional wrestling. And you know what, Michael St. John, I really would like to see uh, female wrestling really get on the level that it is in Japan. You know, Japan, the female wrestlers are basically there, right up there with the men, you know, for his competition and the, and, the, and the people just really supporting it. And right now, you got two young ladies in there that I know can get the job done, especially Tracy Brooks. Like you said, she's with TNA Wrestling, and uh, I look for some big things to happen with her. You know we got the bell to start this match. And Brickhouse Brown, you have traveled extensively, I know, over the past several years worldwide, wrestling in Asia, wrestling, uh, in fact, wrestling over in the Middle East. Yes. You've wrestled on the TNA circuit as well. Right. And uh, you've seen a lot of stars. And I know uh, last week you were here looking at the talent here in Wrestle Birmingham. You have joined, you've signed a contract with Wrestle Birmingham. There's some uh, very good talent, both veteran talent and new talent, here with Wrestle Birmingham in the NWA. You got that right. Right. And one thing I like to say right now, the competition here, right here in Wrestle Birmingham, and I sat here last week and I watched the matches, and I tell you, some of these young superstars that they have coming up, uh, say for instance, like the Loverboy Lee, 
And I think we're going to see some big things from him coming up. And then you got some veterans that, that are here, too. And uh, me, myself, being one of them. So you're right, I signed the contract. And I've got an open contract with anybody. And I'm looking to show people that Brickhouse is still here. Brickhouse is still on the map. And Brickhouse is still a force to be reckoned with in the wrestling business. ODB, worst aware, Tracy Brooks taking a, uh, the uh, prowess of this match right to her. And uh, quickly, ODB went to the floor. Tracy Brooks, uh, quite uh, quite an outstanding athlete. She is, uh, and, and, you, and I'm always very careful of saying this, especially in this day and time, but Tracy Brooks, you can tell, works out not only just to work out her physique, but to work out as a wrestler. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of the ladies now have changed their workout philosophy. I know there used to be, hold on just a minute here. Wait a minute. ODB is just taking a swig of, uh, now what do you think she's got planned? Uh, I don't know, but I, I, it's water, I hope, in there. Mm -hmm. It's a little spray bottle here, and she's got uh, got it in her mouth. And, but as uh, I was saying, a lot of the ladies now change their training philosophy, and they used to be just aerobics, the fitness-type workout deal. Now these girls are coming in with the strength. I mean, they're getting ripped and cut, and they have a lot of strength and muscle to go along with that aerobics fitness. You know what I'm trying to say, Mr. St. John? I think you're right about that, and you were mentioning Japan and how the uh, professional wrestlers, the lady wrestlers over there have trained and become, and I think that is a, a trend now. ODB oh, yes. spitting the water right into the face of Tracy Brooks. Brooks now with a reversal. I think that may have just made her mad as she got a face full of uh, spit-laced water out of the mouth of well, ODB. See, I think ODB is playing head games now with Tracy Brooks, you know, trying to get into her psyche and, and intimidate her a little bit, get her off a game plan, and I think it might be working because... Both well, girls are coming here. to the floor now. Wait a minute, Tracy Brooks has got whatever. I guess that is water. This is a little cat and mouse game that we're yeah, playing. I think you're right. Sizing each other out right now. Tracy, sneak attack on ODB. Taps her, returns the favor. You were right on about that one, hey, Brick. Even swap is no swindle. <laughs> yeah. And right now, ODB, worse for wear, head put into the apron of the ring and Tracy Brooks just taking her around the ring is gonna maybe uh, do it at, either, at each, each pillar and post if you would Rick. Oh, yes. One more time for ODB and one more time into the apron. Each side of the ring. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's coming this she way. She wants to bring us up. Oh my first. gosh. We're going to meet the oh, young lady. Whoa. Right there. How you doing? Ah. Hello. She slammed that table. <laughs> That's called kissing the wood, oh, isn't yeah. it? yeah. Up close and personal. Well, these girls, I'll tell you, they are they are uh, taking uh, taking no quarter, holding no... Uh, <laughs> this is amazing. These She's girls are a little 10 11 and care right now, but I think Tracy Brooks really need to concentrate on ODB because the girl got a game plan, and I'm telling you right now, if Tracy Brooks don't watch it, she'll find herself, you know, on the bottom of the mat with the one, two, three. She whips her into the buckle. Tracy following her in, coming out and over. Nice monkey flip. That time, Tracy Brooks showing ODB uh, how it's done in the wrestling ring after uh, taking care of business outside the ring. Again, this time, a ODB. Too real, a little too much. May have, may have mistimed that a yes. bit as well. Well, getting back to the talent here as these two girls go out into the ring, getting back to the talent in Russell Birmingham, and you've already mentioned uh, uh, Lee Thomas, but, I mean, when you get people like uh, the veteran, uh, like Robert Fuller now putting back together the stud stable. Well, I can tell you one thing from first-hand experience. Robert Fuller's been around a long time. He's a wily veteran, and I've got to tell you something. And, you know, back in my younger days, I was part of the stud stable. So I'm telling you something right now. There was some good things about what he did for my career and of course some very bad things that he did for my career too but all in all it was a learning experience Michael St. John and, and I, I, I wouldn't change a thing but right now young guys just trying to start out in this business need to stay as far away from Robert Fuller as they possibly can and get there through hard work and dedication and learning their craft. Would you consider that giving that advice to a young man uh, named Elix Skipper who apparently has joined that stable? Well you know Elix Skipper has been around for I wouldn't consider him a veteran right now but he has been around and you know he started out in WCW and now he's moved on to TNA and he's making quite a name with himself and what they have what the uh, X division and uh, right now I think Eli Skipper feels like uh, 
he has to, to have those type of managerial skills that Robert Fuller will bring to the table in order to get to that next level. Well, and, and, and speaking of that and addressing that, I know Brickhouse in signing on with Russell Birmingham, you're not here just to observe. At some point in time, you're going to step into that squared circle, and I know you've got your eyes set on the title because the, the, the NWA Russell Birmingham title is a stepping stone, really, to the NWA World Heavyweight Championship that is legendary going back to the days of Buddy Rogers and Luthez and, of course, now currently held by uh, the golden boy, the chosen one, Jeff Jarrett. Of course, and, you know, and the thing about it is I would like to secure the belt here to wrestle Birmingham every week title because, first of all, I've been in the ring with Jeff Jarrett many a times, and I'm not trying to toot myself, you know, to my own horn, but I've got a few victories over Jeff Jarrett. He has a few victories over me, so i really like to see exactly how it would fare against Jeff Jarrett in a title shot. The words of our guest commentator here, the uh, legendary Brickhouse Brown, and right there, a nice little small package roll-up by Tracy Brooks. Backslide has ODB down. Count of two again. Tracy Brooks just not Ooh. quite able to hold her down. Look at the strength of ODB. Now, that right. takes a lot of strength right there. You're it's right like about I that. said about the training these girls go through now. There's no longer the aerobics and the step. These girls do a lot of weight training, and they're strong. When you catch them chest high like that, no matter who it is, that's dead weight when you toss you them over have your head. a lot of strength to be able to do that. Over From behind, roll up, one, two, but that's all. Must admit now, Tracy Brooks had a, a handful of tights there. Oh, well, that's true, and now ODB looks like she is, uh, she says she's ready for more. I'll tell you, these two girls, this has been one outstanding, la I don't want to even consider this a ladies wrestling match. This has just been one outstanding wrestling match it today. Yes, they, they really have taken it to the hill with each other. Oh. Spank there. <laughs> I think that was an insult more so than anything. Backbreaker. Over the shoulder backbreaker and ODB. I gotta tell you, Michael St. John, I am really impressed with ODB's strength. Look how long she's held Tracy Brooke on her shoulder like that. That that takes a lot of strength. I am impressed. And ODB catches her with the elbow underneath the chin as she came off the ropes. ODB and uh, Tracy Brooks opening action here on our wrestling program today. Russell Birmingham from the Zamora Shrine Temple coming up on June 10th. Outstanding card of action. Some great superstars will be in action then, and I understand Road Warrior Animal will be making his Birmingham debut with Russell wow. Birmingham. Wow, talk There's about a name. Talk about a name. Yes. Talk about an athlete. Yes, that was a beautiful DDT we just seen right there. And uh, Tracy Brooke looked like she might be in a bit of a trouble here. Tracy is down. ODB may be taking the worst for wear out of that as well. You know, not only am I enjoying this match, but, you know, I participate in a lot of mixed tag team matches as well, so I'm looking for a good mixed tag team partner right now, and both of these girls have really shown me something, Michael. So I, I don't think you could go wrong with either one. Hey, you, you got that right. Oh, wow. My goodness, what a chop. ODB sent to the ropes. Caught with the shoulder block. There's the elbow up underneath the chin. That momentum going. Tracy Brooks spinning leg scissors. Spinning head scissors, rather. Goes for the cover. One, two. ODB down for the two count. Perhaps a bit dizzy, but still with her wits enough to kick out. Brooks, side saddle suplex now. Reversal by ODB. Into the buckle goes Tracy Brooks. ODB coming in. Tracy caught her as she came in. Slowed her down. Tracy off that top. Beautiful. Off that middle strand. Got her by the hair and put her head into the mat. Looked like a modified bulldog off the second rope. Nice and well done. Tracy now with just one hand. She didn't quite have the uh, strength to get over for the full cover. ODB got the foot on the ropes. And now Tracy Brooks going to wrap her up. One, two, two count was all she got that time as well. Tracy Brooks looks like she is ready to go. She's still smarting from the way she came yes, off that rope. You see showing, uh, you know, that she was hurt a little bit in that left, left leg. Missed. Oh, look at that, a spear. 
You may have given out one or two of those down at Auburn or in places well, other than Auburn, also in the ring as well. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you bring up my Auburn Tigers, man, because I love them to death. And I know it seemed to me that you share that love with me as well. Absolutely. I have a lot of respect for that program and Coach Tommy Coverville and what he has done down there. And uh, I'm very uh, familiar with several of their athletes, and students, including a young man that will quarterback that team this year from right here in the Birmingham area, Brandon Cox. And maybe someday we'll have an opportunity to talk more about that. But in the meantime, back to wrestling. There's Tracy Brooks catching ODB. Got her! And she got her! Oh! And the winner of the match! What a hard fought Tracy, match. Tracy Brooks. Brooks gets the victory! Both ladies gave it their all, and really, and now what is he doing out here? Wait a minute. Now you this see, is, just after a this match. This is McNasty. What is he doing in here among these? Those teams? girls have fought their heart out, and to me, they gave it their all, and to, there was really in it no loser in the match. And, hey. and McNasty going over to... Wait a minute, what's he going to do? Is he going to raise their hands? Yeah, maybe. Now, wait a minute. McNasty looks like he's being a little offensive with these young ladies. Uh. That's not how you treat... I don't care, professional wrestler, no professional wrestler. You don't treat a lady like that. Whoa! She just slapped the bejesus out of McNasty. Tried to go to the spinning kick. You know what? I, I, I can't deal with this right here. I, I've got to do something about this. Look at that snap made by McNasty. He is manhandling these ladies in the ring. Brickhouse Brown from our ringside table position. Look out. Brickhouse Brown is in the ring. Brickhouse. Brickhouse Brown, neck breaker on McNasty, the Brickhouse is back, Brickhouse Brown going to the aid of these young ladies who were literally helpless by this ogre McNasty. Well, I'll tell you what, I was sitting here watching this match, I saw McNasty come out, I can't believe what McNasty tried to do to these ladies, what, what what's he thinking? I don't think the man thinks. I, I think really you're don't. right. I think it's empty between those ears, but Brickhouse Brown comes to the rescue. Brickhouse Brown is back with NWA here at Russell Birmingham. You know, he's been watching the matches for several weeks. I'm going to tell you this man, he is something else. We doggies. I like that match. I had a ball watching that. Anyway, I got to talk to my buddy Mike Jackson backstage after his match. He was a little upset. Let's see what he had to say. Larry Lloyd here for Wrestle Birmingham. I'm here with Action Mike Jackson. Mike, that was a tough match you had tonight. Well, Larry, I'm not too interested in the tough match. And you know, I'm pretty mild mannered most of the time. I've talked to you many times. But right now, I've got a lot to say in a short time to say it, so you better listen very quickly. First of all, I'm out there doing my thing. I've wrestled the dragon. I have no qualms with anybody else. I do what I'm told. I go out there third match. I'm doing the very best I can. And all of a sudden, a guy named Jimmy Powell wants to stick his big fat nose in my business. You know, you could have never won that match without me to motivate you. It's all about. You've been down to Kmart and you got your nice little suit to wear out here tonight. And you think you're somebody. But I'm gonna show you what class is all about. Like everybody from Birmingham, we got class. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand this microphone back to the man and I'm gonna walk out of here before I say something to you that I really shouldn't say. Well, Mike Jackson showing the better part of valor. Look at the, wait, wait a minute. Jimmy Powell has gone right after Mike Jackson. Picks him up, and what a suplex. Shades of the dirty white boy there. Jimmy Powell now removing his tie. He's got it around the neck of Mike Jackson. He's choking Mike Jackson with his necktie. He is choking Mike Jackson down. Well, I'm a little bit more settled down than I was. I apologize if I got a little bit out of hand a little bit earlier. But let me tell you something. June the 10th, it's a Zamora Shrine Temple the hottest ticket in professional wrestling right here. I've heard some of the names coming. All-Star card, Road Warrior Animal, and I don't even have to go in. Once you say that, you said it all. But let me tell you something, June the 10th is a very special day for me. You know, Jimmy Powell, when you came out and you interfered, I wrestled the Dragon a couple of weeks ago. 
won the match straight out of one, two, three with a, a patent move of my own. And Jimmy Powell, you came out, you started this motivation stuff, you came out with your suit and tie you lulled me to sleep. Well, I'm going to tell you what, you're not going to lull me to sleep anymore because we've signed the contract. It's me and the dirty white boy Jimmy Powell, one-on-one, -on -one, some more Shrine Temple on June the 10th. Now, Jimmy Powell, let me tell you something right now. There's no reason for me to mix words or no reason for me to make a bunch of promises I can't keep. You made a little crack about my age. You said, ah, oh, you're 55, you're 60 years old, you can't be the oldest man in professional wrestling. Well, let me tell you something right now. I am one of the oldest men in professional wrestling, I'm proud of it. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I may not wrestle another match, I may not go to the ballpark, I may not go out of my house. But I'm gonna sit there until June the 10th and I'm gonna stew on what you've done to me. And when I come to the Zamora Shrine Temple on June the 10th, I'll guarantee you this, this 55-year-old man is going to give you a good old-fashioned Birmingham butt kicking, and you better get ready for it. We're looking forward to that, Mike. Thank you. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Dennis Condry. Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on Friday, June 10th. You don't want to miss Road Warrior Animal, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Super Kick Scott Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, The Exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda, The Awesome Ian Flex, Action Mike Jackson, Ricky Morton, and a surprise new tag team, plus much, much more. Friday, June 10th, Wrestle Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple. For tickets, call 205-970-0333 or go to www.wrestlebirmingham.com. Don't miss it! Barry Productions, your source for technical management, staging, and sound and light systems. We'll deliver, set up, and make the magic happen, whether we're using our equipment or yours. We have a top-notch arsenal of sound and light systems that will make your next event sizzle and shine. And our highly professional staging services will have you up and running in no time and looking better than ever. With prices designed for your bottom line, you can't beat Barry Productions. 205-987-3211.
was. Beautiful Bobby Eaton, Randy Rhodes, Dennis Condry has the referee tied up. What's he doing? Looks like he's getting his belt. Dennis Condry, I've seen this before. Dennis Condry, the master of the belt. They're holding down Lee Thomas, and Condry is whipping Lee Thomas in the middle of the ring. I'll tell you what, this is Midnight Express. I mean, they have done this several times to several people. They are whipping, they are whipping Lee Thomas. They're putting whips on Lee Thomas's back. This is so classic Midnight Express. I knew they were here, but they have made their presence known going after Lee Thomas. Dennis Condry was not, he was not happy at all that Lee Thomas was using the moniker Lover Boy. That was wrong. If you'd like to reach the big leagues with your product or service and would like to advertise on Wrestle Birmingham, contact us at 205-970-0333 or go to our website at www.wrestlebirmingham.com. Walter, hmm? did you hear something? Time. Emailing your mom? Downloading music? Booking our vacation. I told Francine I'd do it online, but all we have is dial-up. It's so slow. Still don't have high-speed internet at your house? Get Bell South Fast Access DSL starting at $9.95 a month for the first three months. It lets you connect in an instant, shop online in a flash. Even use your phone at the same time. And at $9.95 a month, there's never been a better time to buy. Officer, you don't understand. We've got dial-up. Order online at fastaccessdsl.com and get $50 cash back. Frank, did you book the vacation? Oh, he's going on a vacation all right. Get it now for just $9.95 a month. Bell South. Listening. Answering. Miss Absco's Memorial Day sale this week with our lowest prices ever on all clearance and discontinued items. Hundreds of one-of-a-kind bargains for your home. Come see our commercial quality grills, the Big Green Egg, and Fire Magic, and 12 months same as cash. Absco Fireplace and Patio for comfort and style. Absco. Dave Baird, only on ABC 3340. Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on Friday, June 10th. You don't want to miss Road Warrior Animal, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Superkick Scott Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, the exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda, the awesome Ian Flex, Action Mike Jackson, Ricky Morton, and a surprise new tag team. Plus, much, much more. Friday, June 10th, Wrestle Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple. For tickets, call 205-970-0333 or go to www.wrestlebirmingham.com. Don't miss it. Right now, let's watch the... <laughs> God, darndest fight you've ever seen with Randy Rose and Lover Boy Lee Thomas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. <clears throat> right now, let's take a look at the matchup between Randy Rose and Lee Thomas. 235 pounds, one third of the Midnight Express, Randy Rose. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 225 pounds, Lover Boy Lee Thomas. Back with you on Russell Birmingham, Lover Boy Lee.
Lee Thomas against the Midnight Express's Randy Rose. And right away, Lee Thomas going right to work on Randy Rose, drop kick into the ropes. And Lee Thomas obviously incensed by what happened to him at the hands of all three members of the Midnight Express a week ago here on Wrestle Birmingham as he was beaten with a belt. You cannot, believe, you cannot blame Lee Thomas. I mean, here's a man that got whipped by all three men last week. You can't believe it. He, was, he wants some revenge, and he's going to get it with Randy Rhodes. And on Friday, June 10th, he's going to get it with Dennis Condry in that leather strap match. Well, I'll say this much. Lee Thomas, I have not seen him as fired up as he was when he hit the ring. It looked like he had a stick of dynamite in his boots. He went right to work on Randy Rose. And, of course, Randy Rose, one of the members of the Midnight Express, along with Dennis Condry and beautiful Bobby Eaton, you know, it's almost silly that uh, Condry is, is so in, in upset and incensed by the fact that Lee Thomas has taken the moniker Lover Boy Lee Thomas. I mean, yes, Dennis Condry for many, many years known as Lover Boy Dennis Condry of the Rock and Roll Express, but Lee Thomas took on that name as literally hero worship to Dennis Condry. Well, you know, Dennis Condry, he really disappeared from the wrestling world for, I would say, a good 10 years. So, you know, to take a man's name, I mean, it, it was out of respect. I don't think it was anything malice on Lee Thomas's part. I mean, you grow up, you watch a wrestler, you, you really you, you idolize that man, and that's what he did with, with Dennis Condry, so really I don't see anything bad about it. Well, and when you look at Lee Thomas, you also get a feeling you, you get a little bit of Rick Rude in this man, you get a little bit of a, of, uh, of several wrestlers, and, I, and again, this was a here's a wrestling fan, literally uh, as a kid, he was a big wrestling fan who emulated the stars that he saw on television and in the arenas, and now is taking uh, wrestling to its next level and uh, to be beaten i mean literally beaten with that belt and i i was backstage with lee before the matches begin this week he's still showing welts from that beating he took well, i mean he took a beating from dennis condry this ain't the first beating dennis condry has given someone with a belt oh, i mean i've no, seen him i've seen him magnum ta mr wrestling number two the fantastics i mean he has whipped everybody throughout the world lee thomas just added to it well uh, that is one thing about uh dennis condry and uh, uh, give him his due lover boy Dennis Condry has been a master of the belt and of course coming up on June 10th at the Zamora Shrine Temple uh, it, it took a lot of fortitude and, but I show you it shows you where the NWA where they're at on these things is that uh, Roy Lee Welch the director of enforcement for the entire NWA came out and made the match between Condry and lover boy uh, Lee Thomas the battle of the lover boys coming to the Zamora Shrine Temple in Birmingham on June 10th well it's gonna be a spectacular spectacular match. Both men will have leather straps, and I'm going to tell you what, they're going to be strapping each other, because Lee Thomas has got a lot of a lot of whipping to do, Dennis Condry. Now, here's now Randy Rhodes working over Lee Thomas in the ring. The veteran Randy Rhodes on the Midnight Express caught the elbow. Oh, look at Rhodes. Here's a guy, again, here's a here's a veteran athlete. The Midnight Express, literally, you, you did mention the fact that uh, Dennis Condry had left the foal, if you would, had left the professional wrestling uh, uh, business for for several for almost a decade but now he has returned with a vengeance and not only that doesn't look like he's missed a he hasn't missed a lick it doesn't look like it you know dennis condry along with bobby eaton have held tag team championships throughout the country but randy rhodes and dennis condry were southeastern tag team champions i mean they've they've had run-ins with many wrestlers right here in birmingham alabama lee thomas out of the way as randy rose came off that middle strand of ropes he wasn't looking where he was going and there was no lee thomas to be found lover boy lee goes in right after him Going to pick him up. Boy, this is this is just a, a dead weight, if you, if you would, fireman's carry almost. And he dropped him across that upper strand of rope. What action on Russell Birmingham. We invite you to join us live at the Zamora Shrine Temple on June the 10th. Many superstars on tap for that one. We'll run down the entire card of action, plus a big TV taping. So be sure to join us. And a lot of these fans get an opportunity also, Brett, to be up close and personal with uh, many of these superstars of uh, the NWA and Russell Birmingham. And when I say that, they have an opportunity to come into the arena before the program begins and actually meet and talk to some of these stars. Now, most of the people that uh, get the VIP seats, they get the opportunity to come in from 6 to 7, and, and they have that little personal time with the wrestlers, and, and uh, it's something that all the wrestling fans have enjoyed. And right now, Randy Rose has taken over on Lee Thomas. Again, the, the veteran expertise 
of uh, one third, if you would, of the Midnight Express. Randy Rose taking right over on Lee Thomas. Thomas caught. He's got him in a chin lock, but he may be cutting off the uh, the airflow uh, through the mouth and nose area. The referee is checking. It's not really a chokehold, but it's almost a smother hole there. Well, Mike Posey is a great referee. I think he is checking it a little bit. Mike Posey has refereed for many years. A great official. You know, that is a, 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 a we, we don't give credit where credit is due to these officials sometimes, but uh, they have, I don't care what sport it is or what sporting event or activity it is, I, without a doubt, the professional wrestling referee has the hardest officiating job in all of sports or sports entertainment. Well, I know it. My dad refereed, Ron West refereed for many years. He was the most hated man uh, and in many, many uh, places. People hated him, and uh, it is hard because every, every Every night you go out there, you never know what's going to happen, and you've got people like Randy Rose that can break the rules, and make, he'll make sure the referee doesn't see it. Lee Thomas turns the tables on Randy Rose, sends him into the ropes, caught him with that clothesline coming off. You know, you mentioned uh, your father, Ronnie West, and uh, I had an opportunity, of course, in, the, in my first days of wrestling to work with your dad, and the one thing, and a, a real tribute to you and your father and, and the legacy of your father in this wrestling business, he always had command of what was going on in the ring. Jackknife, small, oh, he got the time, and Lee Thomas got the roll up and got Randy Rose. Lee Ladies Thomas gets the win. Thomas, let me tell you, that Scott Armstrong knows the Midnight Express. He has fought him before, especially his brother Brad Armstrong and the bullet. The thing about uh, Scott Armstrong last week when Lee Thomas was being whipped with that belt, he got to the ring, but as soon as he got to the ring, the Midnight Express disappeared. But this time, he was there before the Midnight Express could inflict any damage on Lee Thomas. Well, I'll tell you what, there's some excitement right here on Russell Birmingham. The Midnight Express, Lee Thomas, Scott Armstrong. You know, let's make this short and sweet. Dennis Conley, you was one of my heroes, but now you're nothing more than a target. June 10th, I'll be here bringing you whole duffel bag because you're going to need it. You're going to all die. Now, now, Lee Thomas, Lee Thomas, you do understand during this match on Friday, June 10th, he is going to have a leather belt, but you will have one too, and you can get a little bit of satisfaction on Dennis Condry. You know, it's as simple as this. All you people here seen it tonight. I've been doing the whooping here twice. You know, not once with Randy Rose, but also with McNasty, Dennis Conley. You're next. Bring all the Midnight Express, because it's going to take you all Midnight I'll tell you what. Let me, let me add one more thing to this, Lee Thomas, before you leave. On Friday, June 10th, you will have a match with Dennis Condry. Yeah. But I'm going to tell all the people in Birmingham right now, Bobby Eaton and Randy Rose will be barred from the building. It will only be you and Dennis Condry, so let's see if he can do it one-on-one. -on -one. That's Friday, June 10th, Russell Birmingham. We'll be back in just a moment. Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on Friday, June 10th. You don't want to miss Road Warrior Animal, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Superkick Scott Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, the exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda, the awesome Ian Flex, Action Mike Jackson, Ricky Morton, and a surprise new tag team. Plus, much, much more. Friday, June 10th, Wrestle Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple. For tickets, call 205-970-0333 or go to www.wrestlebirmingham.com. Don't miss it. I got to talk with Tom Pritchard backstage at Fright Fight. Well, actually, he talked, I listened. Anyway, let's see that now. I'm here with the doctor, Tom Pritchard. 
Tom, you've got one of the biggest battles of your life coming up this Friday night with the Road Warriors. Listen, you're here with the Alabama Heavyweight Champion, and I've heard everybody talk about Dr. Tom. This could be the biggest match of your career. This could be against one of the biggest legends you've ever stepped in the ring with. Well, I've got news for you, and I've got news for you. I've stepped in with some of the greatest names in this business today. And this Friday night at the Zamora Shrine Temple, I can promise you this. Road Warrior Animal will step in the ring as a challenger, and he'll step out of the ring as a loser, because no matter how big you are, you're going to fall because I didn't win this title by walking in the ring and stealing it. I won it, I've got it, and I don't care what I've got to do to win it and keep it, I'm going to do everything I can. And if it's Road Warrior Animal, who you're looking so hard to beat me, I don't care. Road Warrior, bring it on. I am the man, I am the Alabama champion, and you're nothing to me. The Doctor, Tom Pritchard. Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on Friday, June 10th. You don't want to miss Road Warrior Animal, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Superkick Scott Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, the exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda, the awesome Ian Flex, Action Mike Jackson, Ricky Morton, and a surprise new tag team. Plus, much, much more. Friday, June 10th, Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple. For tickets, call 205-970-0333 or go to www.wrestlebirmingham.com. Don't miss it. Introducing first, from Montgomery, Alabama, weighing 265 pounds, gorgeous. that has not been in Birmingham, Alabama in over 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 245 pounds, Wildcat, Wendell Cooley. And he is in the ring to do battle with Jimmy Golden, the pride of Montgomery, Alabama. A couple of Bama boys about to lock it up here on Russell Birmingham. Welcome in, and I'll tell you, already today in this program, what wild action. You saw the outcome of what happened when uh, Brickhouse Brown and McNasty got into it after the ladies' match uh, last week with ODB and Tracy Brooks. Brickhouse acting the gentleman, and then today, as we were trying to get this program started off, McNasty decides to literally Pearl Harbor Brickhouse Brown, who had to be helped from the arena, and uh, that, the Midnight Express, doing their damage, running roughshod throughout uh, Russell Birmingham and the NWA, and now this match is uh, quite, quite a matchup between Jimmy Golden and Wendell Cooley. It is good to see Wildcat Wendell Cooley back here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's been so long since he's been in Birmingham, so long since he's been inside the squared circle. It is indeed an honor to see a man that uh, we have not seen in many years. Wendell Cooley, Jimmy Golden, these are two veteran athletes in that ring that can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and uh, they're no strangers to each other. They have battled many, many times before. They have. They have met each other countless numbers of times. Jimmy Golden and uh, Wildcat Wendell Cooley, actually the, the feud between these two go back many years, goes back over 15 years uh, right here in this area with the uh, Continental Championship Wrestling. And, and uh, 
This is the first time I think Wendell Cooley has met him in, in several years, so this should be an exciting match. Wendell Cooley is a is a tactician in the ring, and of course Jimmy Golden. Uh, Jimmy Golden has been known to take a shortcut or two, and uh, uh, the, the tag team that he has made uh, famous with Robert Fuller for three decades of professional wrestling still going strong and you know when you look at these wrestlers in the ring there's i don't think there's a professional wrestler in america today that uh, would uh, really enjoy getting in the ring with some veteran like uh, wendell cooley or jim o jimmy golden because these veterans bring so much to the ring and uh, quite frankly i think they can take the measure of uh, uh, an awful lot of wrestling athletes that are out there today. i think so because you've got you've got jimmy golden he has been around the world so many times a man that that has held many championships you got robert fuller which we all know what robert fuller is all about uh, for many years he has caused nothing but turmoil and, and and excitement wherever he goes and and nothing different nothing different on this program or any other program you know that is something uh, you you speak very true words Brett west and i know you as a second generation uh, member of the wrestling uh, profession and, and have witnessed and uh, have, have seen what these men have done throughout their careers and the one thing that is is a very true line of robert fuller wherever he goes havoc follows oh it does it does robert fuller he, he can cause more trouble than i think i've ever seen anyone cause in, in the wrestling business he can get him talking at a wake. I mean, he's, he's a, he, he can stir it up. And, of course, here in Russell, Birmingham, and uh, the really the rebirth of professional wrestling in the Magic City, uh, already Robert Fuller's uh, impact uh, duly noted, and especially when it comes not only to the Alabama uh, Tag Team Championship, which uh, uh, they've got a big match. Uh, he and uh, Jimmy Golden have a big match coming up on uh, June 10th at the Zamora Shrine Temple in Birmingham for the uh, for the Tag Team Championship now held by the Armstrongs. It's going to be a spectacular match. I mean, you're looking you're looking at people that have wrestled each other for countless numbers of years, and and the thing about it is, it doesn't look like a feud. This feud's never going to stop. I mean, you're looking at Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, uh, Ron Fuller. All the Fullers have had nothing but problems, and Jimmy Golden with the Armstrongs for several years. So it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. And despite the fact of the laps of professional wrestling live professional wrestling in in the birmingham area uh, uh, these these as you say feuds that have been these are long-standing i mean uh, the hatfields and the mccoys have nothing on what's been happening between the armstrongs and fuller and golden and between the midnight express and and uh, the rock and roll express and and as more stars come into nwa Russell Birmingham, I think you're going to see a lot of old fires, if you would, rekindled. And I'm not talking about in the positive way. I'm thinking about they're going to fire up like the Sloss Furnace. I think so, because, you know, you take all these wrestlers, you take something. I mean, you're, you're looking at Robert Fuller. He took Bob Armstrong. They were in a side of steel cage. He was teaming with, with Bullet Bob Armstrong. That particular night, it was a Christmas night back in 1984. Robert Fuller took the opportunity to turn on Bob Armstrong, leaving him inside a steel cage with his brother Ron Fuller and Jimmy Golden. Here's a man, he'll do anything, and to, to take a man and set a man up that bad and beat him as bad as Bob Armstrong was beaten, I don't think you'll ever get over that. And that's exactly what Jimmy Golden, Robert Fuller, did to Bob Armstrong, and I don't think he's ever going to forget that. Well, I don't think uh, Bob Armstrong has ever had a Christmas present quite like that, and that's something, like you say, will be remembered for a long time. And there's Fuller just fanning on Golden. All he's doing stalling for time as uh, Jimmy Golden recoups so outside the ring. And Window Cooley now attention diverted by Fuller and that allows Jimmy Golden to grab the advantage Golden oh that was a thumb right into the throat no doubt about it you can see by the way Ken, uh, Wendell Cooley went down that caught by that thumb and now Robert Gibson choking him from the outside well you know Robert Fuller he did. This is what I'm saying about Robert Fuller. Look at what the man will do. Taking Wendell Cooley, choking him on outside of the ring. But once again, that's what Robert Fuller has made. Let's let's be honest. The man has made a fortune in the pro wrestling business. And this is the reason why. He will do whatever it takes. You think about it, the man has been wrestling professionally for many years. And for the last few years, he's took people like Jimmy Golden. And he's took wrestlers, uh, the nasty boys. He, he managed those guys. You, you think about it, he's took tag teams. He took individual wrestlers. 
wrestlers, and he's made a fortune with them, and that's what he's doing with Jimmy Golden, and now evidently prime time Alex Skipper. And right now, and that, that's what Fuller does best. He, he just, from the outside of the ring, he wears a man down, and then right now, I, I dare say that Wendell Cooley is just really not knowing where the next attack is coming. Is it coming from outside the ring with Fuller or inside the ring with Jimmy Golden? And now Golden goes right back to work on Wendell Cooley. And Wildcat Wendell, worse to wear right now is Jimmy Golden taking the measure of it. Referee being distracted by Fuller, and in the meantime, Golden going to town on Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Wildcat Wendell Cooley, it's like he has no chance between Robert Fuller and Jimmy Golden. Some of our wrestling fans showing concern. Uh-oh. Wendell Cooley may have just gone downstairs on Golden. But you know, when you think about it, he had no other choice. He's, had, he's got two guys beating on him. So what did he have to do? That, I mean, he had to take some kind of course, even though that's an illegal course, and he could get disqualified for it. But still, at the same time, he had to do what he had to do. There we go. The Cooley stop. The Cooley stop. And these fans know exactly what that means. And Jimmy Golden is about to find out again. There you see, Cooley. look at Wendell Cooley go. Big elbow smash by Wendell Cooley on Jimmy Golden. Rolls him up for the cover. One, two, did he have him? Got a two count was all he got. Referee was down to count very quickly. And right away, Robert Fuller up on the apron. And Wendell Cooley tries to get him down. That's not what you're going to do. You don't need to turn your back on Jimmy Golden. Yes, there's, your, there's your stomp. There's your kick. W O kick by Wendell Cooley. The wrap up on Jimmy Golden. Referee being distracted by Robert Fuller. And the referee now, Cooley has to go back and read. There he goes for the big bulldog. And he hits it on him. He's beat many a man with this hold right here. The Wendell Cooley bulldog. He had the cover. He's going to bring Robert Fuller on in. Fuller wants in the ring. Wendell Cooley brings him in. He's going to bring him in the ring, and that's exactly where he should have been. The referee calling for the bell. Look at that. Kick it and kick it on. Not a good place to be, despite the fact Wendell Cooley had it going his way. Now Jimmy Golden, and here comes Scott Armstrong. Super kick, Scott Armstrong hits the ring and is going to town on Robert Fuller. Jimmy Golden turning his attention to Scott Armstrong now. Here's Fuller kicking at Armstrong. And again, the renewal of the feud between the Armstrongs and Fuller and Golden. Cooley's got a boot. He's taking his boot off, and that is going to chase Fuller and Golden from the ring. And the referee awards the match to Wildcat Wendell Cooley. And the winner of the match. The winner of the match, Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Hi, this is Bob Armstrong coming to you with my oldest son, Scott Armstrong. I know you didn't want me to say oldest son, but we might as well tell the truth like it is. <laughs> Before I start to say anything, you notice this flag behind us? I want to thank all the men and women overseas, and let's pray that they get home safe. Amen. I've told some friends of mine that June the 10th is going to be one of the biggest nights in Birmingham history, and I really do believe that. Robert and Jimmy Golden have been spreading and just tormenting the promotion here, saying that we cheated. We cheated to win this hardware we're carrying now. I've taught my sons, don't cheat. When you cheat, you won nothing. When you win fair and square, then you can walk proud. Exotic Adrian Street, one of the toughest little men I go, I know the self-proclaimed prettiest man in wrestling, was a European champion five times. So you can't judge a book by its cover all the time. My son Brad Armstrong is coming up to a three-year absence after a severe car wreck. His, his leg is better. He's doing better. And Scott, what do you think about it? I'm telling you right now, Bullet, I'm looking forward to this Morris Shrine Temple on June 10th because Road Warrior Animal's going to be there, Ricky Morton's going to be there, little brother Brad Armstrong's going to be there, Dennis Condry's going to be there, Adrian Street and Linda's going to be there. I mean, the list goes on. If you ever want to make a wrestling show in Birmingham, Alabama, it's going to be on June 10th. The kids are out of school. They're calling it the Kids Out Bash. So come on, bring your family. It's a family-oriented show. We all have a great time. I had my family there last time. What a blast we had. I want everybody to come on out and enjoy themselves. That's June 10th, the Samora Shrine Temple. Don't miss it. And remember, there. Bullet and the boys are still bad to, to the, the bone. bone.
Berry Productions, your source for technical management, staging, and sound and light systems. We'll deliver, set up, and make the magic happen, whether we're using our equipment or yours. We have a top-notch arsenal of sound and light systems that will make your next event sizzle and shine. And our highly professional staging services will have you up and running in no time and looking better than ever. With prices designed for your bottom line, you can't beat Berry Productions. 205-987-3211. Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on Friday, June 10th. You don't want to miss Road Warrior Animal, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Superkick Scott Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, the exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda, the awesome Ian Flex, Action Mike Jackson, Ricky Morton, and a surprise new tag team. Plus, much, much more. Friday, June 10th, Wrestle Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple. For tickets, call 205-970-0333 or go to www.wrestlebirmingham.com. Don't miss it! Oops, gotta go. But don't forget, we'll be back next Friday night at 12.05, right here on 3340. Till we see you again, this is Larry Lloyd with Wrestle Birmingham. Hope that wasn't Robert Fuller's car. Because you'll hit the mat hard when you come from the sky. Because I'm a big-time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. won't save you when I start my attack. If you try to escape, I'll just pull you back. I'll spin you like a top, and when you've had enough, I'll turn up the heat and really start to get rough. Cause I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. throw you and kick you and make you feel sick. I'll set you on fire like a candle wick. The ref will yell and the fans will complain. But that won't save you from feeling the pain. I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain.